So today we're working on my 2021 Ram and here's the mod we're doing. Here's the uh, rear seat that came with the vehicle. It's just a regular bench seat. Goes straight across the rear and um, hang on here. Here is what I've got so far. Now the bench seat mounts here and also over there. And then the same thing on that side, there's two mounting holes. Uh, what I'm doing is I am putting the 60-40 split bench in. And you can see, you can take out the seatbelt holes because there's a bracket on the 40%, which is here, and then a bracket on the 60%, which is there. Uh, there was a little piece of carpet here, which I removed. It's actually embossed already. It looks like that. And it goes right in here. There's two little tabs, one right there you cut and one right there you cut with a little razor knife and it exposes. It doesn't look like there's anything there, but if you feel around here, what they did was they put a piece of tape over here at the factory and then they painted over it. Um, I'm sure that's for water protection. I'm going to cut this out and that'll allow me to bolt the seat right in. It should just be a simple bolt up installation. Now this is a 2021. And the seat that I was able to procure was from uh, 2014, but it is compatible. It's actually should be perfectly identical to what they used in this vehicle. Now there's also a modification that allows you to pull the seat back down. This right here, there, there, and over on that side. These brackets are for the back of the seat and I'll show you that right now. So, seat back you have these hooks right here and there's two on the bench seat and four on the 6040 and I'll show you the 6040 that I have now that's this one right here and you can see this plastic piece is broken I've ordered those um, and there's two on that and likewise there's two on the 40 percent now um, what you can do and there's a mod in case you haven't heard about it, to raise the seat. Because what happens when you take the factory seat, you lower this, the seat bottom, and what'll happen is the seat back actually goes down. Now, they did it from the factory internally in here. When you raise the seat bottom, the seat back lifts up a little bit, and that's to allow your seat to fold up. It just gives you a little, little easier access. Now the amount that it raises up the seat back is not significant enough to disconnect it from here. So your seat back is still in here. And when you raise the, the seat bottom, the seat back goes up a little bit and then you can fold the seat bottom up. Now the modification that people do, and there's two ways to do it, is they'll either cut that hook that I showed you right here and everybody says that you cut it to the plastic on, on the forums. Some people say you have to do it a little bit more. Um, my advice is if you're going to do the cutting, what you want to do is you want to do a stack of washers down here where you mount it. Put a stack of washers and then when you lift the seat bottom and it lifts the seat back, this should clear your retainer. So. If you want to cut that hook, you then take your, your washer stack, measure it, and that's how much you're going to cut, cut off of that hook. That's one method. Um, the other method is that you get spacers down here. Some people will use a piece of wood. People say, I've heard everyone uh, online, they'll say everything from 13 sixteenths to an inch. Sometimes they say three, three quarters of an inch is what you need to add to that. And then when you lift the seat bottom, because you've lifted the entire bracket, your hook, which used to go down further, doesn't go down as far. And so when the seat bottom is lifted, the seat back also comes up and then it clears this part right here and then you can fold it down. And the reason people do that is to have access back here. At this point, I'm not gonna bother because although you do get some access, there's really not much you can do back here. Some people take out the sound deadening, they add a subwoofer back there. 
I mean, I'm, I suppose you could store your manual or a few other things like that. Um, and just remember that you're going to have a gap of this much. So if you put something in here and it's small, it's just going to fall through anyway. So um, that's just a modification that people do. It allows them to move the seat back forward. One of the advantages is that your seat uh, headrests, right now when you want to clean the window, it's pretty difficult to do that. Um, they don't have any mechanism. Some, some of the Rams do have a button you could push here. And when you push it, your uh, headrest goes forward and it allows you to get back there and clean the window. But if you don't have that, that might be another reason to uh, do the seat modification, the seat back modification. But again, remember, whatever you raise here at the bottom, you're going to lose up at the top. And that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you know, three quarters of an inch shouldn't make a difference in headroom, but you never know. That's something to consider. I don't like the idea of cutting the bracket, even though everybody says that the bracket is still long enough and it's still safe and the seat back won't go forward in an accident. Um, you know, it's one of those things that it's it's more permanent once you cut that. So my, my preference, if I was going to do it, would be to do um, some... Uh, brackets right here right across or not brackets spacers uh, and you can see from the indentation of the carpet that the bracket that goes this way is flat and I've heard of people just using a stack of washers or you could take a, um, a piece of two inch uh, tubular steel or aluminum uh, drill it and then um, cut it to size as a spacer and then you're going to use uh, eight of those because you're doing the 60 40 if you're just doing the seat back modification without changing out your rear bench seat, you have a full bench seat, then you only need four spacers. So uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm not gonna do this on video, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, start mounting the uh, seats to this after I replace that little plastic uh, spacer piece right here on the hook. I've got those, so I'm gonna replace the broken ones. And um, that is probably it for today's video. Short and sweet. Uh, I'll try to do more videos, um, GR videos, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. So here's the part number for these uh, those uh, seat back. They call it retainers, but this is what they look like. These are these, uh, the plastic parts that go around the hook. They break off in time, so you may need to order some of those from your local Mopar dealership parts department. And that part number that I showed you, that, where is it? it's right there, that is the correct part number for this. So if you're looking around and you can't find that little plastic piece for the hook, this is what you need. Thanks for watching How To Heaven. Okay, so these little plastic hooks are retained by these two um, little clips there and if you're not familiar with them usually you'd use a tool like this and you stick it in there and you pry it out now let me show you the other side a lot of people call these things Christmas trees because they kind of are like a Christmas tree they go in and then it's real hard to get them out but um, that's all there is to it you take those two clips out and then you can pull this plastic piece out and replace it well I was gonna end the video but let me show you what happened so this was obviously broken already, and when I went to use the um, uh, retainer removers, the end up, it ended up just breaking the clip even more. So you end up like this. It took a lot of force, and you can see that this one here is actually stressed a little bit here on the top. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some clippers like these, wire clippers, and then just cut the plastic there and then reuse these. Uh, so not the easiest thing. And if those hooks bend, which they did pretty easily, they're real easy to bend back. So what we've got here is a fairly Christmas tree. And I think the easiest way to do it is to just take this piece off and break the plastic.
every time I think I'm done with this video, there's one more piece to add. Now this is the retainer that if you remember earlier was cracked. And I just wanted to show you that these can be repaired. And the way I repaired it is you just get a standard soldering iron with like a spade tip um, like that and let it heat up. And then you can just sit here and massage that plastic back and forth and then you'll get it so that it's uh, re-assembled. Uh, so these are salvageable if you happen to mess the head up. So that should be really strong, strong enough to hold that little retainer in. So FYI, you can solder plastic. Actually, you're just melting it. They call it welding, but basically you're just melting it. Thanks for watching How To Heaven.